everybody. We're here just right down from our house right there where that little red roof is. And we found out this guy here uh, catches fish. And uh, he catches the nice size fish, the size that we're going to do. Tonight we're going to do some fish burgers, so you might get to see that. Yeah, yeah, that one, Lipty. Uh oh. Yeah, so uh, we got a basket full. <clears throat> yeah. So. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. That one. The eyes keep them fresh. This one is big. Yeah, 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 that looks good. Now, yeah, how does he catch these? Is this with long line? Uh, that's a little too small. Yeah, yeah put that one back. Yeah, we will put that back later. Okay, okay. Just get yeah. everything. Yeah, just like see what we... And we then you can find. choose. Choose the ones. Oh, the okay. Ones you need. Okay, what we'll want. Yeah. And yeah, uh, how does he catch these? Is it a long line or net? Huh? Oh, a deep, deep basket? Deep basket, yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, how far does, uh, you know, he have to go to catch... Fish like this? 50, 50, 50, 50, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Meters so deep? Is, it, is that an eel or is that a lipty? Oh, that's an eel. Huh? Oh, it's not a lipty? Lipty, small lipty. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right, how much is that one? Bila man inana. That's 280. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, just put it there for now. We'll yeah, the, two, the 221s are the ones we like the most. Uh, yeah, how much for the Lapa Lapa? Is that same? It's 280. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lapa Lapa is really soft, and so I like a firmer fish. Even though they sell it expensive, soft stuff here sells uh, higher dollar. Uh, yeah, how many in there, honey? Count those. Yeah. Cleaning okay. out the stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does uh, is this is one night from his bobo, or does he leave it out there for a week or longer? This morning they just catch this this morning. Oh wow! That's nice. We got a load here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How often does uh, he have fish? Is it every day? Uh, oh, no, no, let's look, honey. Let's see what else he's got. Yeah, we'll look, see if he's got some bigger lipty or something like that. Or, or the other ones. Anything big. It's just easier to clean if they're bigger. Less work. Ow, oh, he got stuck. He got finned. Those things, uh, even though they're dead, they're, they're, there's a bunch of... The thing with all the dots, that's a lappy lappy. There, right there. Those are the prize this year. I call those other ones emerald snapper. They're like a green snapper, like right there in front of me. That's, the, I, that's what I call them. That's my name that I made. They got, they got a name from here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does uh, he uh, have more, more? Any more, more? That's all. This small mall is that's it. Is that okay? Uh, this one, this small mall is this okay? Um, what's the price? Two, two thirty. He said that two thirty. Uh, or two twenty if we buy all. Uh, what's the price if we buy this much? What's the price if we buy this much? He said that if it's all big, it's just two thirty. But if you include small one, it's well, only only these, except for that one small one. Wherever that one small one was. Actually, that's okay. That's okay. Well, okay. we'll go ahead and put those back. Uh, I guess. Okay.
How about that one? Yeah. That one. Okay, so uh, how much for if we buy all those? Will will it give us a special price? Okay, gonna make sure for the way. Okay. Let's see what they weigh. We got the scale right here, and again, right there. Yeah, yeah. Tell old him that I'm build ding a boat. And and uh, you know, no leave low on. But all I'll fish with like rod and reel. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's see what we're tipping the scales out with. A little more than seven. Oh, okay. Yes, seven. Okay, that's one. Like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good size. Oops. He jumped out. He's jumping. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Perfect. Okay. Well, there we go. So we got seven. Hopefully that music's not too loud in the background, but that's how it goes. Trying to cut my hand so it doesn't get there. There we go. I'm going to dump them in there. Now, do you know how much fish cleaning I got to do? Do you have any idea how much filleting I have to do? A lot. I'm going to be filleting for hours. I'm going to take some ibuprofen. <laughs> this is because the counter that we fillet on is low. Maybe I'll fillet them outside because they got a squid counter outside that might be good. Okay. So good. All right. How much? Yeah, so does he get this much air every day or just sometimes? Uh, every other day. Oh, oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, tell all them that we'll come here and buy all our fish from him. Yeah, uh, yeah he, he knows that we live right there in... in uh, yeah, you can come. Yeah, yeah. 116. 116. 1,000? One hundred, uh, one thousand six hundred. All right. Okay, folks. Well, I got to get my uh, buffled out, so that's going to take another hand, and we'll be back with more fish market right here. Right, like I said, that red roof there, red roof there. That's where I live. So I can come right down here. He gets these every other day, and he uses uh, what's called a bobo. It's a it's a fish trap that they drop down deep. Uh, usually it's big, and he says about uh, 50 meters deep, so about 150 feet, I think is what he said. So anyway, we will be back with more my paradise on the Italian island. We got fishing boats. We got fish. Yeehaw. We're doing fish sandwiches too at night, so... We'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. Hey, everybody, we are back home, which was just a little walk from over there. We just walked here. We got our big bag of fish here. We're going to put it in this thing here. Here, honey, will you video? Put that down. That screws up the camera now. But anyway, we got our big score here, the big fish score. And we're going to put it on ice right now because we've got to... Uh, go into town and get some other fixings for making some potato salad and stuff like that. So anyway, there's that bag. And uh, here they are again. Again, this one with the orange dots, that's lip tea. That's a lip tea. I don't know what that is. I'm going to call that a red snapper or orange snapper. There's another fish in here. That's a lip tea. That's that's a lip tea. So we got a lot of lip tea, and those are always good fish. Those are good, flaky white meat fish. Uh, one of my favorites. If you just want a good fish, you can't go wrong with lip tea. Uh, and all the other ones here that we got, they're all good fish too. And the momo is my favorite. That's a that's a parrot fish, and we got one of those. So anyway, we're gonna dump some ice on here. And we're cruising town and get some more of the fixings for, for tonight. So we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Let me turn the fish sideways so you can see it. We're just looking at their bellies. Let me get this one. Get a better shot of the fish. There, that's a fish. He's in the shadow. Let me 
get him out of the shadow so he can do his starring debut role. There we go. See the lifty? Those are common. I guess they're reef fish. I don't know how much they school, but when they catch them, they usually catch a lot, so they must be a schooling fish of some sort and hanging around wherever. Like I said, he uses the Bobo box, which is a big fish trap, bamboo fish trap with rocks in, in it, and he drops, put some meat in there, some kind of fish uh, chunks in there, and drops it down like 150 feet, and then comes back after a day. And uh, he's got probably several of these, so he's fishing at 150 meters, 150 feet of water. And we will be back with more of the fixing. So you're going to see a big uh, fish burger fry tonight. Bye for now. All right, everybody. I've got my fish filleting set up, set up. But now this is the first one I haven't started yet. We still got all these to go in here, so we got a whole mess of fish in there and I don't know if I'm going to clean them all tonight or just enough for our fish burgers but I'm not going to video all the other fillet but you'll definitely see the result the pile of, of the fillets and that because uh, I got to get busy because our friends are coming over and it's time to eat baby so we will be back with more we got I sharpened all my knives on my whetstone here so we're just going to start whipping them out Bye for now. Paradise out. I'll give you a close up of the lifty again. Nice looking fish. Paradise out. Hey everybody. Well, I thought I might show you guys because, you know, like I said, I can't really camera and fillet because it takes both hands and then my hands get all full of fish stuff. But I can show you my technique. <clears throat> what I do is, is I outline his stretch, cut this all the way to the bone. Then I take the tip of the knife and work just the tip and cut through the skin going, if you go opposite the scales, it's easier. If you try to cut through the scales just like that, the scales are tough. And then I do the same thing, basically start right around where the anal opening is and work my way down here. And then after that, then I uh, you know, fillet all the way up to the, the center spine, same both sides. And then I don't take this off yet. I flip it over and I do the same thing. And the reason I do that, because once one side's gone, this thing slopes down like that, and it's not a flat fish no more. It's easy to maneuver your knife on. You're, you're kind of trying to work on like a curve, and it's really hard. So I do all the same cuts on this side, too. And so everything is pretty much, you know, released from the bone, except for the rib section right here. This is still on the fish, this side and this side. And that way, now, the only thing I do is just go under here, lift this up, and just slice under here, basically through the ribs, and then that side's done, and then I flip at that, and then I do the same thing, just slice through those ribs, and then, uh, you know, take off the skin, and cut out the ribs, and the pin bones, and you're done. So, anyway, I just want to kind of show you the technique where you don't necessarily want to take this side off until both sides are done. Like I said, leave it connected to the ribs and it won't go nowhere and the fish lays in a better, uh, easier, more friendly cutting position. So we will be back with more fish fillet tips. And I'm about to slice this, flip it over, cut the skin off, cut the ribs out. The other side, exact same thing. And then I'll throw it in here, throw the head and the spine and stuff in there. And we're good to go. Oh, the other thing that I, I, I do at first is I cut these little bottom fins off here I cut those off there's a chunk of meat on there too but uh, you can make soup with all these little pieces Filipinos love it so I will be back with more for my paradise on Italian island paradise out all right everybody fish two is done and it was that one with the yellow tail and these are the fillets here again nice white firm meat looking good whatever they are and the lip tea is down here. You couldn't tell them apart if you tried. Well, maybe that's the other one. Maybe this is the lip tea. Still, couldn't tell it apart if you tried. So, so far so good. I'm going to work on another lip tea. This is a little bit bigger than the other one. <clears throat> then I got a really big one in there. I got that red fish with the teeth. It looks like some kind of a trout, is my guess. Uh, I've got a momo in there and a bunch more lip tea and a bunch more, a couple more of those yellowtail fish. 
No, things are upside down. It's covered with ice, so you can't really see. But this is a big lifty right here. It's a big boy. There's a momo right there. That's a parrotfish. Those are really, really good. That's probably my favorite of all. And uh, this one here is, uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, it's another one of those yellowtail fish there. So, man, again, that's good. So, I think everything's really good here. I'm going to straighten this trout out because it's cold and I don't want to get stuck. But kind of looks like a mango snapper because it's got, I think mango snappers in Florida have got that black spot on them right around in there. And so it could be a mango snapper. Maybe. You guys tell me in the comments. I don't know. Tell me what this one is here and what this one is. They call this Lipti here. I don't know what they call it in other parts of the world. But So anyway, we am going to start on this guy. And we're going to fillet again more. There's a pile of bones. I'm going to grind this up for chum, by the way. Or unless some Filipino tries to snag it from me for some kind of a soup. I don't know who that might be, but there is a Filipino here that likes head soup. So, I don't know. We'll see. I want it for chum, though, but we'll see. So, here we go. I'm going to town on this bad boy, a uh, big boy, and we'll be back with more. Filleting, filleting, filleting fish for the uh, fish burgers tonight. Catch and cook. Or no, uh, market to meal. Paradise out. Hey, everybody. All right. Now we're going to go to, well, anyway, I got the other, uh, what was that? Was that a Lipti? Yeah, that was a Lipti. You can see by the yellow dots. The other Lipti, I got it done. Again, nothing but white, beautiful. So there's a little bloodline here. I may trim that off. I don't know. It's so small, but I could. I might. We'll see. So now we're working on, I'm going to call this a mango snapper now. And because the one, the fishing shows I see in Florida, I think they've got a little spot on their back like that. See? But this has a spot on its back. I think a mango snapper has that spot on its back. So I'm going to call this a mango snapper. And I'm going to go to town on that. And my, I'm going to call it my chum bucket here. It's <laughs> not overflowing, but it's getting pretty full. So anyway, so we will be back. It's a beautiful gold, isn't it? And the lighting here is not that great. I got a light bulb there, I got a light bulb there, and I got a light bulb over here. I probably should set that light on top of this cooler so I get a little better light here because it's kind of damn lighting. But good enough. And my knives are holding up, the edges are holding up. We're, we're doing good. So this, by the way, is my main uh, fillet knife. And I've showed you this before if you watched the video. Don't mind the fish meat. But this serrated edge here is fantastic for cutting through all you know i told you the last thing i do is slide down here and cut through the ribs that's what i use and then i flip it o over and cut the ribs with this again there's a knife that's called dexter and they put the serrated it on the back of the blade here and that's pretty handy but you do have a double bladed knife so you got to be careful uh don't cut yourself but it's kind of handy because they do that outlining you, you know how i told you i will outline it i'll take the knife like this and go in here and just cut just through the skin like that. Well, they take the serrated end and go through that and cut through the skin with a serrated end. And then the same thing on this side. You just go in here. Or usually by the fin is nice because those bones there will guide you onto the other bones. They're like fiends. They use the inner mesh. And they'll guide you right onto the backbone. So it's better to easier sometimes to start your uh, little thin skin cut right where the fins are and again this guy's got fins all the way up so anywhere you start here you, you're going to be kind of following this these fin bones into the spine bones so that is that and we will be back with more mango sniper paradise out all right everybody we got the uh what i'm calling the mango snapper done and you notice the color difference the mango snapper is uh, more of a pinkish meat and there all the other fish are more of a white meat uh it's also this is very oily too so in florida it had more bloodline too i trimmed out some of the bloodline it, it wasn't that bad but small amounts but anyway i trimmed most of it out but anyway that's the red uh the mango snapper right there this guy here with a spot on this side so we're going to do this guy next here we still got the big guy we got two momos in here 
I do it nice and long, long. Like I said, I'm going to try to straighten out. I just got to bend. Try to straighten them out because when they get cold, they hold their shape from when they're in this thing. So I'm trying to keep them straight so it's easier to, you know, do the filleting. Everything else looks pretty straight, so that's that's good. There's another momo right there. See him with all this color? And that's a pair of fish, a pair of fish. Another uh, mango snapper. Another one of those yellowtail things. And again, if I'm getting any of these name songs, just let me know in the comments. Parrotfish, Momo, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're very oily too, and but they're kind of a white meat. The mango snapper is uh, pinkish but oily. All these guys are nice white uh, meat. Everything else is nice white meat. So we put a lid on that, and I'm going to go to town on this one. Uh, we got some uh, eggs boiling over there for potato salad. We got potatoes boiled over there for potato salad. And we got some fillets here. I don't know how many people are coming, but we could have a bunch. When you invite one friend, they invite relatives and nieces and nephews and who knows who shows up. So I'm just going to be prepared with as many fish as I can fillet. And this has been pretty easy so far. So I'm going to keep on trucking and we'll be back with more. Fillet and whatever that fish is. Please tell me in the comments. Paradise out. Hey everybody, this is the result of the fillets. Right here, we're frying them up right here. We are breadcrumbing them right here with flour and breadcrumbs. And then we got a mixture of egg and milk, soy sauce, and salt and pepper, and ginger for the dip. And then we lay it in here and get it all encrusted. And then over here, it's ready to go into here. And from here, it goes into here, and voila. Look at that, baby. And now we got to make the, uh, we got to toast the bread. And I've already mixed up some uh, special uh, tartar sauce. And then we got to uh, kind of dice up, or I don't know what you call it, cabbage. Shred it. Shred some cabbage, like shredded cabbage. And we will be back with more Paradise. Hey, everybody. Ow. Whoops. Forgot to uncover the uh, potato salad. We actually ate the uh, sandwiches fish sandwiches yesterday after cooking but we got some leftovers some of them. I forgot to video because we were so excited about eating but this is basically the meal here we have the toasted bread like a bun and we put this uh, tartar sauce that I made it's mayo pickle relish diced onions really small uh, and ginger powder and then we uh, put some fish on it. And I usually do a double decker fish. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. That's a pretty good piece there. Maybe I'll trade it. Trade it for that one. There we go. Stick that on, on there. And all we do is put a little cabbage on here. Honey, where's the sriracha? And then for a little spice, we add a little sriracha sauce to it. A little potato salad on the plate right here. Potato salad. It's nice and cold here. So we got potato salad for the side. Yeah, turn, potato salad turned out really good. Everybody loves it. Filipinos, by the way, love potato hey, salad, even though they've never had it. All the ones that are my friends. They love it. So here we got the sriracha, and this is Tabasco brand sriracha. So it's got sriracha stuff in it along with Tabasco sauce. So it turned out really good. So we put a little sriracha on there, give it a little spice. Then we slap the cover on there. And then it is chow time, folks. I've got the bread connected. This buns are not cut they're just bread there we go boom time to eat i'm going to chow down it was really good last night so it's going to be really good again today so that is the basic fish burger or you can call it a mcfish just like mcdonald's but way better and mcdonald's doesn't have potato salad and i don't think they put cabbage yeah they make no do they put cabbage on those or not i don't know we also put cheese on them too, but I'm not putting cheese on this one because I think we ran out of cheese last night. So that is the deal. 
and we'll be back with more from my paradise of Italian Island. Market to meal, fish, burgers, salad. Bye. Paradise out.